what do you got in the box, Oliver? Uh, nothing, Grandma. Well, if it's nothing, do you mind if I have a look? Well, uh, sure, you can take a look. But you won't see anything, because, uh, well, I'm the only one that can see Al. Your friend Al is back? Oh. Well, this would be a good time to paint your bedroom since uh, everything you own must be in that suitcase. <laughs> now, remember, honey, be polite, brush your teeth, and see if you can find those earrings I lent Mrs. Rutherford last Christmas. I'll try them. But Mrs. Rutherford got real mad when she caught me looking for that scarf you loaned her. <laughs> Hi, you ready? We're going to have such a boss time. My dad's giving us five bucks to stay in the basement all night. Where's your grandma gonna sleep? Don't worry about her. She's still away climbing Mount Rainier. <laughs> you may hear this. Wow, this is really heavy. Well, I brought a bunch of stuff in case we play rock and roll wives again. Have a good time tonight, honey. Okay, Mom. Oh, Mrs. Cleaver, my mom wanted to know if she could borrow your green sweater. She borrowed it a year ago. <laughs> We're coming, Clarence. Bye. Bye. Finally, a little uh, peace and quiet. Mm -hmm. What do you say we... Uh, <laughs> sell the baby? <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Uh, I forgot my key again. How was your date? Okay, I guess. Well, if that's lipstick on your collar, must have been more than okay. No, it's blood. Oh. I tried to grab a quick shave in the car. Did you get home yet? Sorry, you beat him home again. Is Ollie still up? Yes, but I think something's bothering him. He came home with Al this evening. Al who? The imaginary friend he had after his mother left, remember? Oh, no, not that, Al. I don't believe it. What happened? Who knows? We're just going to have to be patient till we find out what's bothering him. Yeah, I guess you're right, Mom. But I sure hope Al's easier to get rid of this time. I can't afford to take everybody to Disney World this year. Come in. Everything all right, champ? Yeah. Anything bothering you? No. Have you been watching Divorce Court again? No. Dad, is something bothering you? What's wrong with him? Mere words cannot describe the utter humiliation your son has suffered at the hands of Vicki Marshall. Oh, come on, it can't be that bad. Trust me, he's not looking for a quarter from the tooth fairy under there. <laughs> All right, Kip, what happened? Mm -hmm. well, it's just too painful for the young lad to relive. But I'd be more than happy to fill you in. Freddie, it's getting late. Don't you have to be heading home? Uh, time for those traditional cleaver pearls of wisdom. You know us only too well. That I do. Now go home. And Kip, don't worry. If you never get another date again, just think of the positive effect it'll have on your grade point average. Out. <laughs> All right, Kip. You want to tell me what happened? All Vicky wanted to do was dance, dance, dance. Well, you were at a dance. Yeah, but all my friends were there, Dad, and we were talking about the big game tomorrow. Well, did you dance with her at all? Well, sure, the last dance, right? Halfway through it, she dumps a punch bowl over my head. Just because I made one little joke. Well, what'd you say? I asked her if she was dancing or trying to put out a forest fire. <laughs> That's so funny. I mean, she started screaming how I wasn't romantic. I mean, how many times can you tell a girl that she smells good? She was usually enough for your mother. Look, there's nothing you can do about it tonight. But I'm sure in a few days you'll be kissing her again in the balcony. Ollie told you? I'm gonna squeeze that kid's brains out like toothpaste. <laughs> Hold it, Kip. I want you to ease up on your brother. Al's back. All right, Disney World. I want you to be nice to him until we find out why he's upset. Okay. Thanks. Hi, Ollie. Pal. You can have my old skateboard if you want. You don't have to be nice to me, Kip. 
Carl's not really that. Oh, then you can't have my old skateboard. <laughs> Baby rabbit? Well, you better take that thing back, Ollie. I mean, his mother's going to be out looking for him. I don't think the little guy has a mother anymore. When Dad finds out, he's going to set him free, and then you're going to have to sit through that whole rabies lecture again. Dad's never even going to find out he's here. Oh, yeah? That's what you said about the dead bat. <laughs> Hello? Kelly? Kelly, what's wrong? I want to come home. No, JJ and I aren't fighting. Her parents are. <laughs> Honey, let me talk to Mr. Rutherford. She's getting him. <clears throat> you were snoring again. I have a cold. For 15 years? <laughs> uh, yeah, Kelly? Mr. Rutherford can't come to the phone. Mrs. Rutherford locked him in the wine cellar. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi, girls. All right, girls, it's late. Come on, let's get on up to bed. JJ, don't worry. Your parents will be fine. Oh, I know. This happens every time my mom can't fit into her clothes. <laughs> mom, no luck on the earrings. But I did find your curling iron. Great. <laughs> How was it over there? Oh, terrible. I've never seen so many broken wine bottles since the Poseidon adventure. <laughs> oh, let's get some rest. Oh, uh, try to sleep on your stomach, will you? Come on. This is genuine rabbit's food. You've got to eat something. Mr. Marshall. Hi, it's Kip Cleaver. Do I know what time it is? Well, I know it's after midnight, sir, but, uh... It's breakfast time here in Belgium. Pierre, more waffles, please. Can I please speak to Vicky? Thanks. It's easy. Just put it in your mouth and go like this. Vicky, hi, it's Kip. No, I'm not in Belgium. Oh, come on, Vicky, that was just a little joke. I mean, I wasn't too thrilled about the punch bowl over my head, but I forgave you. Now, come on, Vicky, what do you mean I'm not romantic? I carved your initials in my bat, didn't I? Hello? Hello? Girls. Kip, something's wrong. He won't eat nothing or drink, either. Hey. He doesn't look like he's breathing too well. I better get Dad. No way. He'll put him in the garage with his exercise bike and we'll never see him again. I'm telling you, Ollie, Dad's your best bet. But I'm not going to be the one to wake him up. You already have. up for you real good. Hey, look at the beers. Yeah. Okay, okay, Daddy's got it. You know what's gonna make you feel better? Daddy's gonna fix you up real good. Yeah. There you go. I think Daddy broke his ankle. Okay, come
that formula. Yeah, you sure know a lot more about rabbits than you did about the Louisiana Purchase. Well, I had a rabbit a lot longer than I studied the 18th century. 19th. What happened to your rabbit, Dad? Unfortunately, that was the same year Eddie Haskell got his German Shepherd. Good confidence builder, Dad. What did the doctor say? Well, he says it sounds like an ear infection again, and all we have to do is give him some of this stuff. We're out of. Oh, great. It's all taken care of. He's already phoned in a prescription to the all-night pharmacy in Bellport. Oh, honey, that's such a long drive. Well, then you'd better get going. <laughs> Some robe you're wearing. What are you doing up at this hour? Trying to figure out what you're doing in my house. I'm just having a sandwich. Mm. You know, you're out of those little pickled gherkins you had last week. How'd you get in here? I got a key to your house. <laughs> I got a key to everybody's house. You know, this neighborhood watch is not without its perks. You know, that's supposed to be for emergencies. Sam, when I'm hungry, it's an emergency. <laughs> you know, Lumpy and Letitia are at it again. Maybe I shouldn't have mentioned that spare tire she's sporting. <laughs> Look, Eddie, I've had a rough night. Why don't you just leave? What nerve? I risk my life protecting your upscale, yuppie neighborhood. And this is the thanks I get? I don't have time to discuss this rationally with you anymore. Right now, I gotta get down to Bellport and pick up some medicine for Kevin. Why don't you just lock up when you leave, huh? Oh, uh, and save us some milk for the morning. Hey, way up, Wal. I'll come with you. It'd be like the old days. A boy's night out. <laughs> hey, I'm only going to the drugstore. Sure. That's what I tell Gert, too. <laughs> Boy, this place sure brings back memories. I remember when it used to be a liquor store. I had a bum buy me my first six back here. I remember, it threw up in my car. <laughs> yeah, I really loved high school. Hi, I'm uh, here for a prescription. Cleaver's the name. Uh, Dr. Tokar called it in. Yeah. Hey, Leo, wake up. Cleaver's here. So, uh, how long do you think this will take? Your guess is as good as mine. It took him 12 years to get his license. <laughs> hey, Smiley, put down a Shakespeare and give me 20 lottery tickets. <laughs> Make sure they're all winners. Gee, you meet the nicest people when you work the late shift. <laughs> if you'd have finished high school, you wouldn't be working in this hole. But then we never would have met. It'll be 9.50. For baby medicine? Do you like the baby? <laughs> Shoot, um, <laughs> I forgot my wallet. Um, Eddie, loan me 10 bucks, will you? Yeah, I'm all tapped out. But after I finish scraping these babies, I'll own this place. <laughs> I'll give you the medicine for half price. <laughs> I don't believe it. They're all losers. Takes one to know one. I wasn't talking to you, cheese face. Why didn't you just burn the money, Eddie? It would have been quicker. Hey, look, friend, now, I've got a sick baby at home. I'm sure that both parties can reach a reasonable accommodation. Sure. You go home and get your money, and I'll be here when you get back. I live all the way in Mayfield. Then you better get going. Hey, look, now, I got a sick baby at home that needs this stuff, and I'm not leaving without it. Hey, hey back off, Walter. Let me handle this. I've got a way with people. 
And you guys think you can tighten the cuffs just a little? I still have some feeling in my hands. Hey, now, you can't do this to me. I'm a taxpayer. And this guy here, he's a big shot lawyer. And he's going to have all your badges. Ah, uh, shut up, Eddie. Uh, hey, look, we can keep this out of the paper, can't we? Turn right. Anybody got a comb? Turn right. Uh, I'd like five wallet size and an eight by ten. <laughs> A little oil of clover in the gum does the trick every time. I was sure it was an ear infection. So was the doctor. Yeah, we all make mistakes. Look who Beaver married. Well, I'm sorry to drag you out of bed, but I was just so upset when Wally called from the big house. Let's just be glad that drugstore clerk didn't press charges against you. Boy, I can't believe how embarrassing it is having to share a cell with somebody you're going to defend next week. How long do you think they're going to hold Eddie for psychiatric evaluation? With any luck, weeks. Dad, where have you been? Uh, uh, your Uncle Wally's car broke down. Car broke down and he went to jail. Rough night. Never mind. Uh, what are you doing up? I couldn't sleep. You want some honey coated sugies? You know, I can remember when they called these sugar coated sugies. You're still upset about Vicky? Sorta. Yeah. You want my advice? Sure. Dump her. She's not worth the aggravation. How can you say that? She's a terrific girl. I'm crazy about her. Have you told her that? No. Well, why don't you? You know, sometimes a little romance goes a long way. Good morning, Mom. Good morning. How's Kevin? Sleeping like a baby. I can remember when those were called maple-flavored sugies. Good morning, Oliver. How come you're up? Well, I've been playing with the bunny. You know, he's doing so good, I'll bet we'll be able to let him go real soon. Al, indeed. Wait a second. I mean, after all the trouble you went through, you're just, you're just gonna let him go? Oh, well, I'm gonna miss him a lot. But I'm hoping Dad'll get me that leopard. <laughs> when we get a bigger yard. Oh, look! I got the prize. Can I have it? No. This one's mine. Good morning, Dad. Uh, hi. How you feeling, honey? <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. Come on. You ready, Freddy? Yeah, but I hope for your sake this doesn't lead to a civil complaint. <laughs> Cause I only have eyes for you, dear. The moon may be high, but I can't see a thing in the sky. Cause I only have eyes for you.
got a Milwaukee Bucks on Special Edition NBA. Then at 11.05 Eastern, find out how the average Soviet citizen really feels about you in Behind the Threat. Stay tuned for more original comedy on Down to Earth, next on the Superstation.